seen this man before? He was shot last night. Oh, thank you. No, sir, no, that's sir. ours. We need that. We and yeah, he kept it. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 SNL cast members who appeared on Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Debbie, trust me. Okay, but only because I trust everyone. For this list, we'll be going over the most notable performers and staff members from Saturday Night Live to make guest appearances on the hilarious Brooklyn Nine-Nine. If there's an SNL alumnus we missed, let us know in the comments. Number 10, Nassim Pedrad. Jake? Okay, oh no. It's me, Kate, give me a hug. Stand down. Back off. Dude, that's my brother! Appearing on SNL for five years, Nassim Pedrad has also made a name for herself starring in shows like New Girl and the recent series Chad, which she also writes. We're enjoying each other's company right now, Chad. I feel like that depends on who you ask. On Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Pedrad plays Kate Peralta, one of Jake's half-sisters, whom Jake reaches out to in the hopes of getting to know her. Unfortunately, Kate proves to be something of a scam artist. However, she and Jake still manage to bond during her brief stay over their shared low opinion of their dad. I was perfectly happy in Dallas with no dad and a dead mom being walked all over by Kurt and his kids. That doesn't sound like a great situation. Yeah, it's bad, okay? Andy Samberg and Pedrad had plenty of practice playing siblings on SNL, and they picked up right where they left off on Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Hey, Eric, watch this. <laughs> Stop being weird. Number nine, Yorma Taccone. Excuse me, uh, sir, there's something I'd like to talk to you about? Uh, one second, I'm busy. Oh, at the buzzer, suck it, Chase, you dirty little hippie. Andy Samberg's most frequent collaborators are his fellow members of the Lonely Island. While Akiva Schaefer also appeared as a detective with a grudge against Jake, our pick goes to Yorma Taccone. You're gonna regret this, Peralta! Ah! Taccone plays Taylor, the manager at the Fun Zone, where both Jake and Captain Holt work while in witness protection. Taylor is not good at his job, nor is he very perceptive. Who in their right mind would think that Holt slash Greg would ever be into drugs? I'm very hardworking. Yeah, when you're not totally blazed. I assure you that's not me. Or that Jake slash Larry should get the assistant manager position over Holt. No offense, Jake. Hey everyone, I just want to introduce you to our new assistant manager, Larry Sherbert. Number eight, Pete Davidson. Unlike most of the entries on our list, Pete Davidson actually appeared in Brooklyn Nine-Nine prior to when he appeared on Saturday Night Live. Davidson plays Steven, one of a group of kids on the cusp of crime who are sent to listen to Amy Santiago's presentation on the Junior Police Officer Program. Hey yo, I'm an at-risk kid and I think it's cool to sell drugs. Hold up. Why does the kid selling drugs sound like he's black? It's a small part, but Davidson does a lot with it. We have a black president. Why can't black people sell drugs? I'm so confused. Steven has some memorable lines, from questioning why black people wouldn't be capable of selling drugs, to being one of the few people who's actually able to mock Rosa Diaz and get away with it. Remix, yo. Throwing you in jail. Throwing you in jail. <laughs> Number seven, Maya Rudolph. Larry! Although Maya Rudolph has frequently appeared on Saturday Night Live, even after departing the show as a regular, her time on Brooklyn Nine-Nine was sadly much briefer. Rudolph plays Marshal Karen Hawes, the federal agent in charge of Greg and Larry while they're in Florida for witness protection. Let's go over the normal checklist stuff. Have you had any contact with anyone from your previous life? No. Haas is hilariously detail-oriented when it comes to the duo's backstories. Liking Failure to Launch has never been more important to anyone. Larry's favorite movie is Failure to Launch. Say it. Say, my favorite movie is Failure to Launch. My favorite movie is Failure to Launch. Furthermore, the marshal also turns to Peralta and Holt for advice on having an affair with a younger man, which, while ethically dubious, not to mention unprofessional, does make for great comedy. And Rudolph sells it perfectly. Pop quiz. If Larry were married and everything was fine, and I mean, honestly, everything is totally fine, sure. but he knew that one night with this person could give him everything he needed for the rest of his life. Would he do it? Number six, Chris Parnell. Hello, what up, Paul? 
Yo, Sandberg, what's cracking? You thinking what I'm thinking? Man, it's happening. One half of the famous Lazy Sunday video with Andy Sandberg on SNL, and lots of other great sketches, Chris Parnell has a recurring role on Brooklyn Nine-Nine as Jeffrey Hoitzman. Sophia, Sergeant Jeffords, Detective Peralta. Please, my friends call me Jakey Snowpants because I'm skiing so much. <laughs> Hoitzman proves a problem for Peralta as he initially punishes Sophia, the defense attorney Jake dates, by giving her fewer cases for seeing a cop. However, it soon becomes clear that being a jerk is the least of Hoitzman's issues. Bet you five bucks you can't guess three of the hors d'oeuvres they're serving. I'll take that action. He's also hopelessly addicted to gambling and several illegal drugs, which forces Jake to have him arrested. Hoitzman then decides to sabotage Jake's career and then kidnap him, forcing him to confess his misdeeds. You're the one who's been sabotaging me? I'm just ruining your life like you ruined mine. You never should have arrested me. But I basically got your cocaine charges dropped. You only had to do 40 hours of community service. Parnell makes the character both pathetic and hilariously petty. Number five. Vanessa Bayer. I'm Officer Debbie Fogel. I'm so sorry, my partner's on crowd control. I don't know where he went. It's his first week on the job, so he's still learning the ropes. A long-tenured cast member on Saturday Night Live, Vanessa Bayer has a recurring part in season seven of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Bayer plays Debbie, Holt's partner after he's busted down to uniformed officer. Nervous and awkward, Debbie proves to be a great foil for Holt. Thank you for the helpful tip. Oh, I've got a ton of them. They're mostly about the dangers of standing. However, Boyle's attempts to get her to have more confidence have the unfortunate side effect of leading Debbie to become a dirty cop. You're right. I can do anything. <laughs> anything I put my mind to. Thankfully, she's still hopelessly inept. Oh, hey, Jake. What's, what's the deal with the office today? It's, it feels crazy. Somebody sold 20 bricks of coke and some machine guns from evidence. What? It's the first I'm hearing of it. Her attempts at a drug deal and a hostage situation are absolute train wrecks. But thanks to Bayer's performance, we cannot look away. Hi, Mom. Do you like my mansion? Deborah Lynn, why are you holding a gun? Oh my god, Mom, I'm wearing a fur coat and that's what you focus on? I hate you so freaking much. Number four, Fred Armisen. Can you spell that, please? M L. E, P, Clay. Did you say Clay? Yes, the Clay is silent. Whether it's SNL or Portlandia, Fred Armisen excels at sketch comedy. His appearances on Brooklyn Nine-Nine may be brief, but his character is one of a kind. What is this music? Oh, this is from my country, uh, near Krakegovia. Do you like it? I weirdly do. Armisen plays Malipnos and or Jerry, a bizarre immigrant man from either a fictional country we're not even going to try to pronounce, or Honolulu. As they say in my country, a chiki for a key. Right. And what country is that again? Honolulu. Okay. Malipnos' appearances are always in important episodes, showing up in both the pilot and the finale, as well as event episodes like the one after the Super Bowl and when Jake and Amy get married. Guitar. Holy crap, Malipnos plays like an angel. His absurd behavior is always a riot, from insisting his name has a silent clay in it, to calling a violin a guitar, to singing a song with Jake about a goat's virginity. Number three, Tim Meadows. This veteran SNL alum appears in a recurring role as Jake's cellmate in prison, the affable Caleb. Although Caleb is very personable and easygoing, he also eats people. Did you say eat people? Are you a cannibal, Caleb? Well, that's not how I would define myself. If we're going by what I'm most passionate about, I would say that I'm a woodworker. While Caleb may not want to define himself by his worst impulses, he is quite the sicko. I'm really gonna have to thread the needle. Oh! I got really good at threading needles. Back when you were making your skin suit, I know. Look, I like being friends with you, but you have to stop bringing that up. But we're friends. The contrast between his inherent helpfulness and the darker side of his personality makes for great comedy. And Tim Meadows is not only hilarious, but his chemistry with Andy Samberg is excellent too. Guess who's here? Herman. Herman, always playing Yahtzee, knew everybody's name. Worship Satan. Did he? He never mentioned that. If it didn't mean Jake would be locked behind bars, we could watch more of them together any day. Okay, you got me. I was gonna eat you. That's still my thing. Number two, Bill Hader. My motto is simple. Efficiency, efficiency, efficiency. Could probably just say it once. Are you making fun of my stutter? Oh, uh, tricked you. I don't have a stutter. Boom. 
I've already established my authority through my amazing sense of humor. One of Saturday Night Live's most versatile actors, Bill Hader has a short but memorable role on Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Hader plays Seth Dozerman, the first of several replacement captains following Holt's reassignment. I need you morons to work eight times harder than you've ever worked in your entire life! I'm having a heart attack. Dozerman is high-strung and obsessed with efficiency, to the point where he has multiple heart attacks after getting worked up over the squad's antics. When you stare death in the face, as I have, it really puts things into perspective. Namely, that I've been wasting too much of my time farting around! The second of these is sadly fatal, but during his brief time on the show, we loved his work ethic. Also, Hader's performance is brilliantly deadpan, and takes what could be an annoying character and instead makes him hysterical. Tell my wife that I love her. Work ethic. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Jenny Slate. Hilarious turn as Bianca, mob mistress. So did he say where he was heading, or? I heard about you, Peralta. I know you were the rat. Get him up. Get your hands up. <laughs> yeah. Lady hand. Julia Sweeney. Sweeney is the bomb as the desperate homicidal Pam. The man said that I'd be able to sneak in here unnoticed. What man? Who asked you to do this? I didn't get his name, but he was very attractive. Antonio Banderas could play him in a movie. What has he been doing lately? You know what? He should be on Outlander. Okay, Pam, I'm gonna cut you off, but it's not because I'm not interested. I'm sorry. Brad Hall, Holt's hero oboist, John William Weichelbraun. Good afternoon, sir. I'm Detective Charles Boyle of From the 9-9. Nine -nine. My precinct, I'm the captain, Raymond Holt. Okay. Uh, please, come on in. I'll show you the back room where they broke in. Seth Meyers. A perp sketch resembles the former Weekend Update anchor. We have no idea what our killer looks like. Well, that's not totally true. We now know that the killer might look like Seth Meyers, Winona Ryder, or Bilbo Baggins. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You'll have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Adam Sandler Put on your yarmulke, here comes Hanukkah. It may be little more than a cameo, but Adam Sandler's appearance on Brooklyn Nine-Nine is one of the most memorable showings by an SNL alumnus. After all, he's playing himself. This is terrible. You don't know what you're doing. Adam Sandler? Yeah, that's right. I collect antiquities. I'm a serious person. When Jake poses as an auctioneer, he discovers Sandler in the audience, who heckles him and reveals he's making a movie about the Russian Revolution. I'm writing a movie right now about the Russian Revolution. Oh, really? Who does Kevin James play in it? Uh huh. It's a serious movie. Trotsky. And just to say, if Kevin James is playing Trotsky, we're betting Sandler himself and Rob Schneider could play Lenin and Stalin. But we digress. This cameo is so unexpected and features such concentrated hilarity that Sandler had to top our list. Oh, sold to Joey Theismann! Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.